Hey there, you lovely light-seeking lemurs. We are back in another little episode of Planet Zoo and in this episode I wanted to show you the lighting of the game in particular. So um, it's a very short episode because basically I had a little bit of time only to, to check out the lighting slider. But um, as you can see on uh, the screen right now, it is pretty powerful and in comparison to what we had in uh, Planet Coaster, it is so great to finally have a slider. Um, it is really working pretty easily. Um, you can just slide completely seamlessly from left to right, make it dark times, night times, or what dark times, um, daytime, night time, whatever you want to do. Like um, I slowed it down also for here uh, for you here. Uh, you can see the transition a little bit better. Um, so it's very cool. Uh, the lighting system works a lot better than the Planet Coaster. It, it really looks fantastic even if you can see the sun dawn the sunset and stuff like that it really is so awesome and then also in combination with the weather effects holy this looks absolutely gorgeous um yeah there's nothing special to to talk about other than this just looking insane also the little bloom effect is nice um as i said at night times you sometimes get a little bit of a jj abrams vibe uh because <laughs> because the the yeah Sometimes the bloom is, is quite heavy. Um, I hope that they're going to balance this a little bit out for uh, the final version. But yeah, I also included a little bit more of a, a nighttime view. People were uh, complaining that they haven't seen the game enough at nighttime. Um, I have to say though that the lighting in general just got so much improved. Uh, a few things are still not perfect. Um, uh, Mr. Operator did explain this to me. Um, some kind of shadows things are not really working. Um, there is a way to do it with um, reshade, but I think it's just an engine thing. It's very, 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 very critique on, on the highest uh, potential level. It's just very minor and as long as you don't know it, you don't notice it at all. But it's just the slider itself. I just want to praise this again because the slider is fantastic. Um, always setting the time, like typing in the time, finding the right uh, sun lighting for your scene or whatever you want to do was always really tricky in Planet Coaster. And, you know, at the end of the day, you, you had some preset times you, you knew that, that were good. But this kind of very fluent, very seamless transition is just so nice. And um, I, I do think that in combination with the weather, as, as said at the beginning of this episode, um, is very, very good because you can then just set really like if you want to make some scenes, you want to make the whole thing appear, you have now the slider of the time of day and you've got the weather effect which kind of play into each other and you have different weather effects creating different types of weather so there's like an infinitive lighting and weather pool in the game to make things look differently and nice and bad and you know very very cool I can't wait to play around even more with it so not only these few seconds I, I used from my recording time uh, to, to check out the slider and the lighting also you have a wonderful look onto this very nice map I have to say with the Indian architecture. I still have to apologize. It was my bad that I let someone else into the wrong assumption it could be Mexican. I have to admit though that I was in a very very hurry situation. I was just checking out everything um, and all of a sudden I was fooled by these wonderful colorful buildings at the beginning of the map um, which led to my assumption it would be Mexican which totally makes no sense at all also considering the animals in here and the overall style makes absolutely no sense but it was my bad I, I, I made uh, the wrong call here and I well I managed to guide the lady designer into an awkward situation which I'm totally sorry about but now I have to live with the memes uh, for an eternal lifetime um, anyways that's it already from uh, my side for this little update I hope you enjoyed this little um, lighting slider showcase uh, I really hope that you did appreciate it and as I said I, I was just trying to show it to you in its full glory by using this little bit of footage I uh, I saved from the backstage recording uh, at gamescom which was really thought like this was one of the single things I really had in mind to make a video of so that's why I could at least have a very nice positioning of the camera yeah hope you appreciate it and um, if you want to see more Planet Zoo content there's a whole bunch of stuff on my channel right now you can check them out in uh, yeah hopefully it's already showed shown to you to the right hand side of YouTube other than that just go to my channel and check them all out so uh, have a good time have a good weekend and see you in the next one bye guys 
So thank you for watching this video. I hope you appreciate that. And now a special thanks also to all the people supporting me here on that channel, making this all possible. You can see that on the left hand side right now. And also if you want to see more of my stuff, make sure to click that card on the right top now. And if you want to stick around, make sure to hit that sub button, which is on the bottom right of the screen. If you want to see stuff on my social media, sneak peeks and stuff like that, it is on the bottom left on the screen. And yeah, I hope to see you again in the next episode. Until then, enjoy your time guys. And bye.